Okay. Let's go. Okay, everyone. So all the riders are at the start. Everyone has started safely away and are on the first corner. So the race has started. So the commissar is what we have. They are the people that apply the rules for the competition. It's been in my blood all my life. Like my father was an international commissar before me. Uh, his father was heavily involved in cycling, but uh, I was a cyclist for many years and uh, I just got bitten by the commissar bug when I finished. I wanted to give something back to the sport. My duty is to see the promotion of the sport, to see it's operated fairly, but also to show the professionalism of the sport. What is, it's something very important for us and it's very important for these athletes. They have a lot of training done before this. So we need to ensure that there is a level playing field and everything is the same for them throughout the competition. And making sure that we have a fair result and the correct result, that is the important bit, is the correct result. Okay, so I have a panel of commissars and each person will have different tasks. I have a technical commissar who will look after the technicalities of the equipment and the stuff the writer's using. I have a secretary who looks after the uh, paperwork and all the start lists and uh, that sort of thing. I also have motor commissars who are on motorbikes, many car commissars. We then have finish judges, timekeepers. The, the rules are endless. We will have someone who starts the race. We will have finish judges looking at the finish. It's a big team and we have a lot to do as a commissar. You have a lot to do. You have the pre-race work, which is the work checking through the riders who are entered, what classes they're in, are they licensed, what is happening. So we do that pre-event and that's done before we get here. Once we get here, then the team manager will turn up and they will present their clothing. We check the clothing and we check that that's compliant. And then the manager registered all the riders. So they go through each rider to check that they are fully licensed and that they can compete. And then that gets us up to competition days. A good day is a successful race, a safe race, the good riders winning the, the race, the, the race result being good, clean sprint and uh, a really good competition. We are the referee, we have the rules that we have to apply, you know, we enjoy the competition and we enjoy the athletes but it's a very serious uh, profession that we have and uh, the important thing is to have mutual respect. We respect them as managers and riders but they respect us as commissars and that's a big thing that is very good, to have the mutual respect. The thing that makes paracycling different, the biggest thing, is the atmosphere. Everybody is here to help each other. You will see the cooperation between the nations. So there is a very big family atmosphere around paracycling. Yes, it's very competitive, but at the same time, all the big teams, the, the, the Netherlands, the, the France, the Great Britain, if they see a rider struggling or a rider with problems, they will get that rider and they will make sure that rider is able to compete. Within paracycling, we're a paracycling community and everybody will try to help each other. The sport is just getting bigger and bigger and it's just such a, a fantastic group of athletes to work with that just makes it something special for us.